you ready? Meow. <laughs> Good girl. Okay, so he's taken Cleo out to give her a blood test and he wants to test her thyroid. Now her thyroid might make her eat a lot but metabolise it so quickly that she actually isn't putting on any weight. So he's testing her thyroid and then he's going to come back and she'll have a vaccine. Are you ready for your vaccination, Miss Cleo? So, it's um, very good to get the cats vaccinated. They really need to be protected um, against the viruses. They can sh so what virus does this particular vaccine? This covers panleukopenia virus, herpes virus and Khaleesi virus in cats. Now, the other thing you mentioned was that she didn't necessarily need to have the vaccination because my other cats are vaccinated. Yeah, it's transmission. So mm -hmm. if the other cats are vaccinated, then the risk of transmission is reduced. If she's well, they're not going to bring it home, are yeah. they? So yeah. catteries and other cats being around are obviously more risky yeah. if there's other cats coming into your property. So it can be very important. Uh, stress in a lot of cats triggers on outbreaks of these viruses. So a lot of well, cats can be carriers of these viruses and need to be vaccinated to help keep them in check and stop them um, bursting out and, and yeah. shedding a lot when they get stressed. So yeah, that's a particular case of the herpes and the, the Khaleesi viruses, so. Well, Miss Cleary, Dr. Jack, <laughs> you didn't even notice, did you? She didn't, she no. was gorgeous. <laughs> Get back in the basket! Oh, Cleo, get back! So, go and get your pets vaccinated. It's really important. Go and get your kids vaccinated. I've been vaccinated. It doesn't cause autism. I have actually done a video on it, the reason we've had an increase in the rates of autism. I'll link that down below. If you're enjoying the videos, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and share the love. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.